I'd love to give you an example of how you can leverage small grants into big programs. Don't ever think that a $500 grant is not worth your time to write. Number one, they're pretty easy to write, they won't take much time, and they can really help propel your program by giving you legitimacy in your own community. That goes for any community support. I would always recommend that you get a $25 donation from the Rotary Club or the Kiwanis Club, the Lions, the Elks, the Moose. More than $25,000 donated by an anonymous individual because it will show a funder that you've got local grassroots support. The amount of that support is insignificant. Same with writing a grant. A small grant can make all the difference in the world. Here's a great example. One of the youth that I worked with in a youth development program in Florida a few years ago, I think she was 12 years old at the time, she came to me and said, Adrian, I just read an article in the newspaper that says every year 7,000 dogs and cats die of smoke inhalation because firefighters are using human oxygen masks to try to revive them. And she said, we just can't let that happen. So it was always customary for me to say, okay, if you can find some place that makes oxygen masks, wink, wink, for dogs and cats, we'll include it in a program, thinking I'd never hear from her again. Well, she found it. She found an organization that makes, indeed, those masks. This is a feline oxygen mask. This is a short snout and a long snout oxygen mask. And the set of three go on a fire truck. And they can be used for years and years because they're not used very often in firefighting. Now, the way that we leveraged this was we went to the Lowe's Foundation and asked them for $500 because these sets of oxygen masks cost $50 and we only needed 10 sets. So we got our grant from Lowe's and put them on 10 fire trucks closest to the community where this young lady lived. Other firefighters started to hear about this project and would call me and say, Hey, Adrian, we would like these on our fire truck too. We called our project Big Breath and Bark because that was the name of the newspaper article that the young girl had read. And we put out press releases to local newspapers that said, If you're willing to donate $100 to our Big Breath and Bark project, we'll make sure that a set of these life-saving oxygen masks are on every fire truck in every fire station in our community and we'll put a plaque up in the fire station closest to where you live that acknowledges your personal donation. So the one I'm holding, there's one here that says from the veterinarian Ryan Fox in honor of Tater and Frank, which must have been or are his dogs and cats. We raised so much money from this fundraiser that was really just a couple of public service announcements in the newspaper that we had enough money not only to put them on every fire truck in our community, but to also buy arson kits and bulletproof vests for the K-9 units. <laughs> and we've heard since we actually saved the life of one of those arson dogs who had sat in a pile of fire ants here in Florida while his lieutenant was investigating a fire. So boy, did that little fundraiser pay off in more ways than one. And then, because we had press about it, we had an NFL football team that found out about our project and decided that they needed to be on every fire truck in the state of Florida. So, that $500 donation turned into almost a million dollars in goods and services around the country that are hopefully saving a lot of dogs and cats' lives.